92. Remember that number. There's a saying that social media algorithms understand us better than we ever could. And I don't disagree. These algorithms can lead us to the most random but fascinating content rabbit holes. Add alcohol and other substances to the mix, and you wake up the next day with some interesting bank charges. My recent infatuation, chemistry. And this box is a tiny specimen of a very, let's say, spirited element. It harbors a potential for both great creation and immense destruction. But fear not, no laws were broken. The content of this box is in stark contrast to the serene Sunday morning. Another day to savor the ritual of coffee and an omelet. First, we nourish the soul, then we proceed with the unveiling. Behold, an Otternite crystal. A mystifying and enigmatic specimen at first sight. This crystal houses uranium. Yes, uranium as in nuclear bombs and power plants. This specimen floats in a cube of acrylic glass. The irradiation dissipates at about one centimeter from the glass, so it's pretty safe to handle, unless you break it, of course. The crystal lights up through a process known as fluorescence. In layman's terms, uranium ions in the crystal emit green light when excited by the UV light. This sample is about 50% uranium by mass. It contains about 99.3% of uranium-238, also known as depleted uranium. The remaining is 0.7% of uranium-235. This is the isotope capable of undergoing a fission reaction. And you guessed it, the reaction needed to create an explosion. But what captivates me the most about uranium is its origin forged from the colossal explosion of stars, also known as supernovae. I shall refrain from poetic comparisons to life's beauty and fragility and all that good stuff, but the lesson today is this. You can legally buy uranium on the internet.